Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for day 11. It is Christmas Eve, and today we have this Happy Holidays green tumbler. Very big, very pretty, and very festive. I really love it. I did use on this cup what came in day 11's advent box. So today you got, these are micro minis. They are little jars of these really pretty, really, really sparkly mica powders. They are iridescent as well, so they just have this really beautiful shine. So over the green paint, I used the micro mini powder in teal, and so that's how you get that shimmer. It's really fun, really pretty, and I love these so much. So that was in today's box. I also used the Gilded Spruce Glitter, which this is already on the site. So that's the glitter at the bottom, and I thought it just looked so pretty and just kind of finished off this cup. So let's get into the tutorial and make sure you guys come back tomorrow. It is Christmas Day and our 12th and final day of the 12 days of Christmas. So starting off with this tall green jolt bottle, um, I'm not sure where I got this from, but I just really liked the shape of it, that it's really big, and I love the cap. I've never seen a cap like this. So took the cap off and the packaging, and we're gonna prep with Mattify. So then I wanted to color match the color of the lid. So I used these four colors. I did this off camera, I don't know why, but I got a pretty close match, I would say. I think it's closer to the lid than the color of the cup itself. So we're gonna do a nice layer of the paint on the cup. Then I mixed up some epoxy. This is the Artistry One to One Fast Set. So just doing a layer of that. Then after that was dry, I'm doing a second layer and I am using the Micro Mini in Teal. This is just a, an epoxy additive and it has like a kind of golden shift to it. It's just so pretty. I love stuff like this because it gives you an all over kind of shimmer sparkle without being glitter. It's so pretty. I can't, oh, I can't get over how much I love these. So just doing that over the whole cup as well. And there you can see that all over sparkle. It changes the color of the green that was underneath and it just looks so pretty. I cut out these pine cone and pine needle decals and these took forever to cut out on my silhouette machine. Um, also, they took forever to weed. I did not think about that, uh, but it worked really well, but I ended up only using one of these. I thought I would do several on the cup, but because it took so long to weed out, um, I ended up just doing the one. So then I also cut out Happy Holidays, this little pretty decal in just the same gold vinyl. So weeding that as well. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold. Then I put the lid back on to see where the front was going to be. And this transfer tape did not like this metallic vinyl. So then just putting that a little bit lower than the whole center of the cup. Then I kind of mapped out where I wanted to put the pine 
branch decal. And I thought it would just look good kind of going over the happy holidays at the top. So this time I used packing tape because I knew that the transfer tape I have would not work for this vinyl. And I did not want to re weed out one of these pine branches. So I just used packing tape. So I just centered that over the words and just placed it on the cup. Then just smoothing it out. Then I'm gonna take some glitter glue, put that on the bottom of the cup and then kind of cascading up a little bit. Then I'm gonna go on with Gilded Spruce. This is a gorgeous custom mix. I love this mix. It is just this magical, like I can't even tell what color it is. Is it green? Is it gold? Is it silver? Is it white? I don't know, but it's so pretty and it matched this cup so perfectly. So I just added that at the bottom and I didn't really fade it upwards in like an ombre style. I more just kind of kept it at the bottom, but you can see a couple pieces do kind of feather out so it's not like a harsh line, but we're not like intentionally angling the cup and making the glitter fall upwards. I just thought it looked really pretty like that, just kind of at the bottom of the cup. So then I'm gonna roll that along some parchment paper to get the bigger chunks of the chunky glitter to lay flat. Then I did seal that with some clear spray paint and then we're going on with another layer of epoxy. Um, I believe I did two. And then this cup was done. That is what it turned out like. I think it's really beautiful. And I just, I love this green. And don't even get me started on the Gilded Spruce glitter. It's just so magical. That is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you come back for day 12 tomorrow. And it's Christmas tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>